Oh, 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 this, this thing's on. Oh, crap. Oh, oh damn it. Um, you caught me off guard there. Ooh, uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Randy Prizzle's Lincoln Ting. With me, Randy Prizzle. See, what you saw there was me having a moment with a can of cider. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, cool, I didn't know this thing was rolling, but let's get straight on to that. So, if you've missed previous episodes of Randy Prizzle's Lincoln Ting, you know what to do below, all of that. You know what we're usually here for, the link in the ting in. If you like the previous episode or this episode, you know what to do below on all of that as well. Cool. We'll come to first, Emma. Emma saying, I'm looking for someone who is kind, thoughtful, and... Sorry, I said that the wrong way around. So let's just stick with that and then fun at the end. So she's looking for someone who's kind, thoughtful, and fun. Cool. I mean, I can be kind... At times, depends if it's chicken, as I said. I'm, I'm not a fan of sharing my bucket of chicken with anyone. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to have to take a lot for me to share a bucket of chicken with you. Do you know what I mean? We're going to have to be together for a while. So, you know, it's none of that with you, with you, with you, with you, with you business. It's, no, it's just me, you know, what I mean, my chicken by myself. But someone who's, fu who's fun, yes, you know what I mean, fun house, it's a whole lot of fun, right, let to be one, it's a real crazy show, yeah, 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 you know, if you remember fun house back in the days, that's what fun house used to be, you know, I mean, people don't know, back in the eras of the 90s, that's where fun house came along, you know what I mean, big show with, um, was that guy, Pat, I think his name was, I can't remember, it's Pat Sharp, that's it, big up Pat Sharp and fun house, you know what I mean, so if you do remember fun house, you know, classic game show where it was like an adventure playground if you ever been to like an adventure playground in your younger days and you had stuff like the bouncy balls and all of that thing you know when you go to uh what was that place called again damn um you used to have like a bunch of little balls you go in there and you jump down in those you know and you make your way through some maze areas and like a kid sort of adventure team that's kind of what it is just just leave it as that anyways thoughtful can be like that do you know what i mean as i said depends if it's chicken probably not but anyways let's move on to more what she's saying excuse me the drink's gone down the wrong end but whatever 32 she is she's 5'1 she's a data analyst she says, unusual skills, picking the best item on the menu. I mean, cool. That's always good to know, I guess, when someone picks the right item. Because then, you know, you would go with their choice. Because if she's good at that, then obviously she has an act for picking the right stuff. And you want to eat the good stuff. So if she's going to pick that, obviously not too expensive, by the way. But if she picks the good stuff, then obviously I'm on it. You know what I mean? And if a girl knows that then that's a good trait to have, do you know what I mean? When you know what's on the menu and you know that's the one we're picking because that one looks like it's the nicest one out of the bunch of them and you pick the right one. So that's that's a good skill to have, you know what I mean? But anyways, next thing she says, I'll fall for you if you make me laugh. As I said, listen, I, I can do it all the time. I'm no, I'm no joker. Let's just be other ways. I'm not talking about joker from the Batman, you know. See, I'm not talking about that type of joker. I'm saying in terms of joker, you know, more on the riddle levels and stuff like that. But I'm not on kind of like joking all day, every day. I can joke when, you know, on occasions. So, as I said, I'm not the full-on prank stars everybody thinks I am you know I can have my moments and then I cannot have my moments so let's just leave it as that but apart from all that fortunately for Emma she doesn't have that je ne sais quoi for me so it's a no for me we'll come to Sasha Sasha Banks no, it's not Sasha Banks but you know okay next thing she says I take pride in not having a mental breakdown during lockdown like oh, you're yeah yeah, it's been really difficult for a lot of people during this lockdown, especially, you know, when you can't go out, you can't do anything, place closed at 10. Yeah, you know I mean, you have nothing really to do, you know, you can't socialise with people. The only really socialising you can do is on Zoom calls to people, or if you've got any other ways of messaging or directing people or talking to them on the phone or whatever, that's your only ways of communication. So it is hard. That's not you know sugarcoat anything it's very difficult so for me personally yes like i found it hard during lockdown i probably have i'm not gonna say it but you know in case i get this clip gets you know cut and then sent to the people so i'm not legally gonna say that on camera but 
it, it is what it is. Just so I was got to say that it is what it is. So you know. Okay. Next thing she says, she's thirty-two, five eight. She's an atheist. She says, "Never have I ever been good at playing. Never have I ever." Um. Okay. Fine. Um. I think that's lame, to be honest. Just, just put what you've never been good at. Do you know what I mean? Like, why would you try to answer the question with the answer with the same with the same question? It's a bit ridiculous that one, but whatever. Let's move on to the next thing she's saying. You should not go out with me if you don't believe in equal rights for everyone. A hundred percent. I believe in equal rights for everyone. You know what I mean? I think um, women should be in the same pay as men, um, especially if they do the same job as them. Do you know what I mean? Like, why not? But I think in terms of obviously you're looking at revenues and you're looking at avenues and stuff like that. If you're talking probably about women's football, because this is probably where I'm going to come into certain things, there's probably not enough sponsorship within the game to really say that women's football probably should be getting the same amount as men should. But I think it's also the popularity of the game as well. Like, the women's football is probably not as popular as the men's currently is. And that's no disrespect to the women, it's just what it is. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie about that. The numbers tell you itself. It's not. You know, and the people in the stadium as, as well tells you it's not. So let's just leave it as that. But it's, it's growing. And that's the one thing I could say. Big up to the ladies then who are doing their thing. So, you know. But that's what it is, isn't it? Like, but yeah, apart from that, I don't know, to be honest, about uh, Sasha. Probably doesn't have really much of that je ne sais quoi for me. So it's going to be a no for me. We come on to Lotus, like the flower, Lotus. And then swig of that one. Mm. Ah. If you smell wow. what the cider? Is doing. No, I'm Anyways, yeah, um, yeah, complete call me of God. But uh, Lotus, like the flower, she's saying you should leave me a comment if, and then she puts a fairy emoji. Don't understand what that means. Do you, you mean you want to fly around with our sign? Like, what, what? What is the deal? What are you saying, Lotus? Like, I don't know. Do you, are you talking about like? spells and wands and all that stuff like cause if you do want a wand I've got something that could probably help with the wand situation <laughs> let's just leave it as that but you know she's 25 she's a woman she's 5'6 she's a fashion designer she goes to fashion design school okay next she says all I ask is that you to be real with me cool yeah I can be real with that the thing about her, she's quite an attractive girl, I'm not gonna lie. She, she has this moving kind of thing. She kind of looks a bit like Betty Boop, which is weird to say, but Betty Boop in kind of like caramel complexion sort of way, which is a good thing, you know what I mean? I, I mean, some people say Betty Boop is, but you know, just leave it as that. But yeah, can do that. Next thing she's saying, biggest risk I've taken, she just puts a, another flower in my I don't really know what this girl's saying. She. She looks like someone who could cause problems. <laughs> and that's all I could say there. They yell what they say mostly sometimes about girls' caramel complexion. They can cause a lot of problems. So, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, am I willing to risk it for a chocolate biscuit? Or I, I would say a caramel biscuit. Now, okay, let, let's let's give it a chance to see what she's saying. Okay, let's put a like on that. But, I, I think she's trouble. Trouble, 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 oh, oh, trouble, 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 I knew you were trouble and you, well, when I saw you on the profile team, you don't need it, now I was going to stop with all that, people are like, yeah, you know, singing Taylor Swift and all that, listen, it's been on the radio sometimes, it is what it is, you know what I mean, when Taylor Swift sometimes comes on the radio, I don't know who sings it sometimes, but I heard the tune in my head, and then they say at the end, oh, it's Taylor Swift that sang that tune. I was like, you know what, it isn't kind of a bad tune, because the way it sounds as well, Oh, 
oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. You know, it's, it's kind of a good sounding. You know, people are saying, oh, no, what are you singing trouble for? But, you know, trouble, trouble, trouble is, is actually not that bad of a tune. If you actually listen to it, it's, it's all right. That's all I'll say that. Anyways, we move on to Liv. Liv says, we'll get along if you like your feminism intersectional, your music old and your conversation is weird and wonderful. I can dig that. Can you dig it, sucker? Anyways, yeah. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, man, I'm all good with that. Old school music, you know what I mean? Like the 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, all the classics and stuff like that. Jungle, garage, house, funk, soul, all of them things, them there. Do you know what I mean? 90s stuff. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. All of that. So, you know what I mean? Man's feeling all that. that old school grime garage stuff right up my alley. So, yeah. Conversation's weird and wonderful. Yeah, you listen. Like, when you come into the Randy Prizzle show, you're going to get the full experience. And the whole experience of that is just weird, wonderful. All things, bro. It's weird to sing it here. See, I'm not going to sing it him. You know what I mean? People be like, what are you singing him for? Do you know what I mean? But, yeah, just... Let's go with it. All things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. I'm not singing off my auntie. Big up auntie. Sorry, auntie. But, you know, try to take the, the, the bit of the piss out of auntie. Sorry, auntie. You know, but, you know, it's what it is. But, yeah, 2954, you know, that's what they're saying. But, yeah. Which is more important to you, pesto or hummus? However, the notion of pesto hummus is a deal breaker for me, sorry. I mean, to be honest, I like both of them, so I can't really... If you want me to kind of decide, hummus with, um, what's that thing, caramelised onions, or oh, banging. That is absolutely banging. Pesto, pesto is good, but... I think with hummus, because you can get different kind of styles of hummus, I'll probably more lean towards more hummus, because hummus, you can, you know, a lot of people say, oh, no, hummus, you know what I mean, but hummus, you can put hummus with um, bread and eat it with bread, pesto is probably more for like chicken and things like that, pasta, so yeah, that's where that is, but next thing she says, she geeks out on the etymology of words, Postcodes and travel routes, getting the right salt ratio for fermenting bad puns and finding the best weathered pubs. This one sounds like she talks a lot. Let's just be honest there. There's too much words for me. <laughs> people are be like, you know, it's... But you could tell from the sort of words people use. Now, now I don't have a problem with dating people, you know, probably more intellectual than man and got all that in, in abundance and substance and all of that and, you know, great with the words and all of that. But you could probably tell someone will talk a lot of waffle, and I just don't want to deal with someone who could talk a lot of waffle. And right now, what I'm hearing there is geeking out, and all this stuff is waffle. You know what I mean? Postcodes and travel routes. Like, why would I be be digging all of that? Like, that's just that's just weird. It is even weird for me. I'm a weirdo, but that's just just completely weird. Getting the right salt ratio, fermenting bad, fermenting. Like, who wants to do fermenting? Unless you're drinking something that's fermented, like alcohol or something, why do I care about salt ratio for fermenting anything? Stupid. Bad puns and finding the best weather pub. Okay, whatever, but I'm not into really puns as much. I, you know, pubs, yes, I like drinking, so I can deal with that. But as far as I'm concerned, it's going to be a no for me. She, she seems like she waffles on too much, and I in for that Captain Bird's Eye ball crap. So yeah, X on that one. X gon' give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. X gon' give it to you. Not, not open up the door. It's me. Well, I'm not. Pop, pop, pop. I stay in the steel. Going hard, getting busy with it. And I got such a good heart that I make them wanna, uh, wanna get it busy. That I'm right, but I do it again. Yeah, I am right till I got to break. Break bread with the enemy. Now I'm not gonna count to break through when I break when you shatter me. You mother, oh, they better wipe on your wrong things. Got the right time getting down. Like a brother set free. That won't be the 
don't want none of them. One of these bitch, please. You don't need to look at me. Get out of my way. Get out of the way, mother. Whoa. Anyways, let me stop all that. But yeah, getting back side. Um, you know, I'm going to probably do that one day on the karaoke manager. You'll probably see me doing X and give it to you on the karaoke. Yeah, that's if you want to do hair that, you know, I'll deliver that. But if you don't, then don't watch it. It's simple as that. But cool. She says, I get along best with people who are funny, silly, and a bit uncouth. Don't know what uncouth means. You know what I mean? Yes, but funny, silly, uh, you know, right on me alley. So, yeah. She's 35, 5'8. Five, She's an atheist. She says, Simple pleasures, death in paradise on a rainy winter's night. I mean, she's talking about the program. I thought she was playing on some weird flex there, but she's talking about the program, Death in Paradise. Uh, to be honest, I've never watched it, and, and that's bad of me, but I, I will probably tune into that. I know it probably happened like how many you know years ago, but I would want to check that out one day and see what that is saying. So, Greasy Spoon with the paper, she says. Um, no idea what that means. Um, yeah, but, and a good repair. You, you mean getting ploughed? Is that what you mean by repair? Like fixing the pipes and all that? You know what I mean? Get the pipe, pipe, pipe. You know, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But it's good repair. What does that mean? It's obviously talking about fixing the leaks and stuff. You know, putting the connection in, connecting the dots and all that. Do you know what I mean tic tac toe? People call that in America and all that. You know, noughts and crosses and all that. Do you know what I mean? Peanut in the peanut hole. Let's just leave it as that. But anyways, cool. My biggest date fail: smashing a glass with my forehead. You wouldn't be advised. You would be advised not to wear white. Uh, that sounds bloody. <laughs> Literally, that really does sound bloody. To smash a glass on your forehead. Yeah, well, she she's a nut job. Let's just leave it as that. She's actually a nut job. If you can smash a glass on your forehead and then on a night out on your date, then you're a bit of a nut job. I'm sorry, but let's just leave it as that. It's not something that's weird. It's just you're a nut job. And just leave it as that. Okay. Done with that. Cool. Um, we'll just leave it as that. So that's the end of the Lincoln Ting vibes. Appreciate people obviously for checking out this episode. Um, obviously if you're feeling this episode or any other previous episodes, you know what to do below. And obviously if you're feeling this one, all of that below as well. Subscribe to the man, Randy Prizzle. Tell your peoples how crazy the man is. And if you're feeling all them episodes, you know what to do below. Check out all the rest of the content on the Randy Prison channel too. Many stuff there as well. Don't forget to do that. That's if you want to. As if you want to. As if you want to. So yeah. Just leave us that. Alright. Thanks guys. You know what we usually do. We finish her. Link out.